The episode begins on a sunny Sunday day, so damn hot. This boy is taking the day to sunbathe and get the tan. These two here probably forgot the sunscreen. Suddenly a taller clone of the boy appears. There are these luminous trails across the screen. I guess it's something related to the new year. The biggest puts his hat on the smallest. Maybe this is all a big secret Santa. He runs away with the boy on his back because this kiss box is sending kisses. They fall at the entrance to the trench. The brat is called Falco. A guy with a high rank asks how's up there. This other back looks like a pig, and I don't even say it trying to offend him, it's just he really resembles a pig. Meanwhile, Falco is playing with the other kids. One of the girls pours water on his head, I think she's into you boy. There are the walls, I wasn't sure if this was really an Attack on Titan episode. Oh, look at him, I'm glad that kid from it and Stranger Things got a role in an anime. That clown really traumatized him huh? I love these realistic dialogues where it doesn't look like Falco just said something so the public gets information. Looks like she's looking at something important, but the trench ends right there. See, the anime even changed the scene. How cool, an airship, where's the Duff logo? Homer Simpson is a little bit different. Nowadays everybody wants to go to the gym. The opening begins and as you know, or Attack on Titan opening is fucking awesome or it fucking sucks. Falco is quite depressed, you know why he's like this, because he's in a f***ing trench, but of course you didn't notice, you only think about yourself, Gabby looks pretty confident, it's the bronze hat power, everyone has a bronze hat but Falco, haha, ha. let's point and laugh at the sucker without a bronze hat, ha 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 ha, what, do you happen to have a bronze hat, something makes Gabby worried, are you seeing those lines above her eyes, that means something worried her, to relax she makes a bomb using seven hand grenades, it is what it is, even at war children are still children, these two leave the room and Colt saying unimportant things, what he says is so useless even the animators show random images related to to war. Then something relevant happens and the commander ignores Colt. That's the new war invention, armored tanks. To be honest, I thought all tanks were armored. The concept of being a tank kinda is to be armored. Wasn't that female titan name in Eren's people invention? I mean, if a woman becomes the colossal titan, then it'll be a female titan as well. When they say the war is made by idiots I didn't expect it to be that kind of idiot. Even though it's apparently hot, this guy is freezing, someone get a coat please. Don't forget to drink water guys. It'd be cool if this guy suddenly ate this fly. Why in war works the commanders or look like a fat pig or like Brad Pitt? Everyone stands up, but there's always the squads drunk. Oh I didn't know there are Muslims among them. It must be in winter, there are so many people trembling. Meanwhile, the other commander is talking to the kids. That's a finger, you can point to people with it. The current plan is to waste 800 lives to perhaps complete a frivolous goal. I know a man who loves plans like that. Anyway, Gabby has a plan where it'll not be necessary to kill any troop comrades. Erwin thumbs down this plan, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Even feeling repulsion for not sacrificing any innocent for the sake of a plan, the commander accepts Gabby's plan. Aloli takes off her clothes so you don't forget you're a f***ed up degenerate. On the other side, enemies spot Gabby through the machine gun display. Tag tag tag, whoever shoots me is a fag. What are you doing? Shoot her. I'm not fag dude, you shoot her. Don't see that as a homophobic joke, see it as a joke about fragile masculinity. By the way, she takes a bite to taste the earth. She gets ready to throw the grenades. When the train is next to her she throws away at the armored tanks. Notice the tanks don't break, they fall, the armored in their name really means something. The man leaves sexuality aside and fires at her. Look at the psychopath's smile as she runs. Titan Shifter appears to protect them. He runs towards enemies like a cat on heat. No one can say this man has fragile masculinity. Let's go back to the airship. It seems parachuting was sail off on some collective buying site. The lower your IQ the higher the discounted price. More more generic war scenes, this one is basically playing Battlefield 4. This other feels in 1917 movie, sequel of 1916. Okay, that was a bad one. Galliard appears destroying everything. But what's really surprising is the Duckbill got new toys. Meanwhile, Falco kidnaps an enemy. Let's ignore war crime cause they're coming. It mightn't be the best place for parachuting, but a good sail-off cannot be missed. Seek screams to turn them into titans, it'd be funny if by accident he fell down. And finally, here they are, the famous stupid nudist giants. I like how they keep a smile on their face regardless of the situation. Look at this motherfucker's face, he looks like a cheap bar owner who's gonna be arrested for sexual harassment. This other one sucking a human lollipop. Reiner finally lands here. He's making a super duper high five with the opponents. Rivals yes but never enemies. A shot hits him. I hate to be the person who says that Reiner, but you can no longer use the name Armored Titan. How about Average Tank Titan? It fits way better. Then Attack on Titan pays homage to Star Wars. Well, Reiner didn't handle the name change well. I think he's envious. Galliard also gets into the fight. It's really weird how this Titan moves like a cat. It's how the saying goes. If you can't beat him, join him. After the fight is over, Zeke decides to jump off. Beast Titan lands and does that count as pubic hair? My god, the animation is great so far, but this CG is horrible. Just like you can throw, they can also dumbass. How strange, Reiner found that funny. In the end, the enemies accept the peace agreement and Reiner hasn't stopped laughing. Who the hell buys newspapers in 2020? B Boomer. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot. Also make a friend watch this video too. Use violence if necessary. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.